Hey everyone. Hello. Today, Brandon. We are. Where are we at? And what are we doing? We are at Disney's Polynesian Village Resort. Yep. Village Resort. Got to say the full title every time, yeah. everyone. And we are going to Kona Cafe for breakfast. Yeah. Cannot breakfast. wait. Breakfast. So I woke up early for Sarah, but we're here. We're here for breakfast. Hair is kind of crazy, but it is what it is. And we, of course, love Kona. We do. We love yep. Kona. It is a great table service option. They always have great special yep. diet stuff. And also, quick apologies, we forgot our mic attachment today, so we're we, going without a mic. We did. If you watched our cruise video, our most recent Alaska cruise vlogs, and you should, if you haven't, go click on them. Um, on day three or four, our microphone attachment broke. We won't rehash the whole thing. We vlogged our my nervous breakdown, but um, we do have replacement parts, and uh, they work just fine. But we did not put them in our carrying we stacks forgot. over here we forgot but going forward we have them. yes so anyway i say all that to say this ready to go to kona yes. let's go So we have ordered our food, we have drinks, we have hog juice, very important. Oh, Sarah can get it off yes. her, uh, my her napkin. napkin. Very important hog juice. And I got orange juice. Yeah, orange juice, a little bit of caffeine, and we're just going to be waiting for our food. So I ended up ordering all the things. So I got the plant-based loco moco, which I'm really excited about. It's one of my favorite breakfast entrees. Great gluten-free and dairy-free option. And then also the gluten-free macadamia nut pancakes, which I might take half home. And then Brandon's getting the gluten-free, dairy-free, allergy-friendly breakfast plate. Yes. So, and we did not talk to a chef today. We ended up just ordering straight off the menu because they are jammed in here. And their internet's down. And their internet is down. Uh, so we, and we've been here a bunch of times. So we know the menu. So we figured make it easy for everybody. Um, but yeah, we're just kind of waiting. Yeah, and it, uh, cannot wait. We need to get some food in us I'm sorry. because uh, we have a long day ahead of us. All right, so breakfast has come. I got the uh, allergy egg, friendly platter. Polynesian egg platter, I think. Uh, your choice of how you want your eggs, as well as like, I got bacon, but you can get sausage and everything like that. Let's just try some egg here really quick. And Brandon got uh, Aaron McKenna's donut. Uh, and then Brandon got the Polynesian egg platter. Far more flavor than, um, what's the other restaurant here? Oh, Olivia's. Oh, Olivia sorry, with no Olivia's. flavor. Yeah, this is, this is good. Um, again, it's breakfast. It's not gonna. It's probably not gonna be a there it is moment. But um, yeah, very good. Um, you wanna try your potato? The hashtag one amazing. Huh? All right, so potatoes are really good. Um, the uh, egg is good. Scrambled egg. Let's try some bacon. I'll say there's a lot of bacon, but it looks like classic stringy. Disney. Yep. And it also came with a, a donut. And you said Aaron McKenna's donut. Aaron McKenna's Bakery at Disney Springs. Everyone is amazing. We have videos. And they also at Ohana serve the donuts there too. We've gotten oh. them there before. It's like cinnamon sugar. Cinnamon. It's good. All right. Very solid breakfast. I wish they still had the steak and eggs, but they don't. Um, but this is really good. So I want Sarah to dig into hers because hers is insane. So much food. I'm taking half of this home. So I ended up getting two entrees because I wanted gluten-free macadamia nut pancakes. So this is the plant-based um, vegan loco moco. It's gluten-free. It's also dairy-free. It has the Beyond, the uh, Just Egg, and then Beyond Burger. I love it so much. It looks great. Mm -hmm. I think it's such an interesting, different kind of breakfast entree. The gravy is spicy and rich. I love the Just Egg. Both Brandon and I love the Just Egg product. Yes. I swear you cannot tell that is plant-based egg. It's super no, no, tasty. No, no, no. It's very filling, and again, something different. This is something different than a regular kind of standard breakfast at Disney, yep. so I give this pretty much every time we come here. But, in just a second, I'm going to dig into this monstrosity. It is a monstrosity. Gluten-free pancakes with macadamia nut butter and pineapple compote. It does contain dairy with the butter, but you can get gluten-free, dairy-free pancakes. 
Um, and then these are also nut free too. This one just has nuts topped on top of it. So they make it on a griddle that's safe for people who have okay. peanut tree nut allergies too, which is good to know. Yep. Um, and then we got some ham on the side. So I'll dig in in a second. Right. Very Sarah food. had a bite of her ham, not on video. Sarah, yeah. how was it? It's very good. I've also had the fruit too. Oh yeah. From, fruit, and this is from my breakfast. The fruit poke is from Brandon's. It is a nice little mix of different kind of fruits in there. Not melon, which makes me happy. Uh, super tasty. Also, oh boy, making a mess, making a mess, making a mess. So, I did get um, the pancakes. This is 100% pure maple oh, yeah. syrup. That you just put on it, right? Yes. Uh, just a pro tip if you have a preference or you do not want the table syrup, you can ask for the 100% pure maple syrup. Yeah, um, they won't bring it out by default. Not always. It depends. Oh, okay. Um, but yeah, if you don't get that, you can always ask. They usually have it on hand for allergies. So, I'm excited. And it looks like they're using the new mix. Oh, she's smiling. Okay. Mm -hmm. Sarah's breakfast is clearly bad. Mine's not bad. I don't want to pretend. It's not bad at all. It's just... I love the pineapple on here. The pancakes themselves are kind of dry. They're not the most exciting pancakes in the world. But they're tasty. But when you add in, like, the pineapple, the macadamia nuts, it makes it kind of extra special. Mm -hmm. Those are good. Okay. I'm going to take half of them home, but... Yeah, yeah. Those are good. All right, ready to get? Oh, uh, yeah. All right, let's <laughs> dig in. All right, breakfast done with a heat index of 100, and it looks like we are on the surface of the sun. It's really hot today, yep. so we're going to make this very quick. Yep. This is a very short review. Yeah, very short Kona breakfast review. Uh, overall, though, Sarah, mine was, mine was good. Food itself was really yep. good. The restaurant was quite jammed. They were having yep. a ton of tech dish technology issues because technical the Wi difficulties. I was not working, so it was causing all sorts of chaos trying to get cards processed and yeah. service. So. Which they told us about right when we got there. They did. So they said it was like up to ten minutes. Up to ten minutes to, run, to uh, run a card, but it went okay at the end. Yeah, ours, I think they started to get the Wi-Fi back once yeah. we were almost finished. But overall, I think the food was good. Solid, yeah, very solid. Uh, it I, was just a very busy restaurant today. Yeah, and um, mine, above average for Disney breakfast, still my favorite breakfast at Disney right now is what's the place on the boardwalk? Oh, Trattoria, Trattoria, California. Yeah, we'll link to that. That is amazing. I want to go back again. But uh, anyway, how was yours? Mine was very good. Okay. I will say the pancakes, they're using the new gluten-free allergy from that is made by the waffle maker okay that is certified gluten-free it is still not my favorite but it made some very fluffy pancakes and they were they were very they fluffy. were tasty they were a little on the dry side okay and sarah how was the local mocha the local mocha yeah. is still one of my favorite breakfast things is, here yeah. on property i'm kona is kind of hit or miss for me i think the breakfast yeah. is still good it's not as good as it used to be it's still solid if you're gluten-free yeah um, we did not show the gluten-free tomato toast sliders today but we did in a previous video so we'll link to that we'll link to that yeah absolutely. and then also if you are plant-based or you like plant-based options that vegan local local is amazing amazing and you get it every time pretty much right i have like the last three times you've gone okay. there the first time i had it i was like Shh, yeah. amazing it's uh, so good she really did she she lit up when she ate it it's true so, so good. yeah kona solid disney breakfast um, yes i will say kona is not Kind of amazing for breakfast. No, is, no, no, no. It's still no. very good. I think if you were looking for a solid breakfast option that can accommodate special dietary mm -hmm. needs and has some different stuff other than like Mickey waffles and yeah. eggs and bacon and that kind of thing, I think this is a great Absolutely. Option. So, other than that, thank you, thank you, thank you to our patrons on Patreon. You continue to be amazing. As of this filming, we had a great live chat with you last oh, night. Yeah, that was that awesome. was awesome. Our subscribers, thank you and like bell thumbs up leave a comment what's your favorite breakfast location on disney park oh yeah have we missed something that we need to go to yep. and vlog because we are always looking for new places yes, we are. to go to other than that we're getting out of the sun are you ready Let's so go hot home. we'll see you right, soon bye, bye.